pitch it up to Afridi and that's what you're going to get. Just take a look at this. Not even that well pitched up. It's taken on the up. Oh, what a beautiful strike that is. That's a start. Well, he's gone second ball. He streaks got his man. Up goes the finger. First one gone for six. Wicked next one. Well, he would be very disappointed, uh, Shahid, because that was a full toss straight onto the pad. Just too early on in the innings. Couldn't quite get a sighter of that one. And if he didn't get an inside edge, that was headed to hit middle stump. That was an easy decision to make. Shahid the Fidi gone. Great comeback by Heath Streak. So, he's gone for six. Asia, seven for one. And that's increased the left-handed Kumar. Well, there's no pitching ball there, and he just kept this for four. That was a present. Happy birthday, Kumar Sangakara. He has one for you. Nicely picked off. Now, that should run away. It does. That's four. Pulled away. Now, it runs pretty quickly that side of the field. Always has, always does, and still does. Eats him quite easily. Nice shot. Leg side in the air. It's gone for four. Beautifully picked up. It was the wrong line. And he's paid the price for that. Helped on its way. It's in the air. Oh, misjudged. It's gone all the way. Oh, Zondeki hands atop his head because Dutenach came racing in off the fence and then rents for four. Lovely stroke. Absolute confidence from Kumar Sangakara. It was marginally over pitch and no great backlift, but just cleanly striking through the line over the top for four to bring up the Asian 50. In the air, but through, sweetly struck. Four more to Sangakara, who's really looking the part. 11 gone, 59 for one. Too short, slashed away, it's going all the way. My word, that's a super shot. It was short and wide and asking for the treatment, but it really got the kitchen sink. Well, the next when he plays in world cricket, he plays this shot. He's in the uh, batsman. That's gone a long way. That's well into the crowd. Oh, it hasn't just crept over there. From the moment he hit that in the middle, that was always into the stands. Oh, it's going to go for four. There's no second slip in place. It speeds to the fence for another Asian boundary. They certainly are on the pads and gets whipped away for four. Lovely stroke from Sangakara. Poor delivery from Adora. That's beautifully played, lovely controlled, just really running it off the face. A slow run, and it's gone all the way, nicely played. And the signal from the umpire wasn't a no ball. 98 for one, Asia. Nick. Good stuff from Thomas Odoya. They desperately needed a second, last two overs. And this time he decided to go and do that. But the result was only the neck into the hands of the wicket keeper. Second wicket is gone. And Asian 11, 98 for two. So Sarah goes for 38, 98 for two. Mahela Jayawadane has to carry out the good work done by Sangakara and Virinda Sehwag. There's another one. Crack. That is a great shot. That's the casing point. Just a little bit too short. And that brings up a very well played 50 for Kumar Sangakara. Just 59 deliveries. Lots of fours and a six in there. He had a great start, picked up a couple of early boundaries and that really got him going. And from there he's uh, 
I think that's a fair well. He's quite happy to keep the ball on the ground when it's been dropped short. He's put it away very convincingly. Worked away nicely again. Well, look for the two. Pollock's got a strong arm. But not strong enough. And by Billy Doctor. In the end, dropped. Just couldn't get a big enough hand on it. it slid away on this occasion. Critical position that you find Justin Kemp in. That's for. That's a lovely drive. In the slot it was. This has gone straight up. He's gone on the pull now. Will the keeper get there? Yes, he will. And it ends a very good innings from Kumar Sangakara. And the doctor the pull shot on this occasion. Not probably quite short enough to really play the stroke. And just when Africa needed something to happen, Thomas Otoya has picked up his second. Much needed. Sangakara has gone for 61. 120 for three. Fine record. Yes, there's plenty of experience. The 1100s. That's when a very competent against spin. So they'll just knock it around, pick up four or five singles and over without a shot in anger. There you go. Even more. This runs away, and it runs away pretty quickly down the hill towards where we commentate from the Mgani, and it's gone for four. So suddenly, a couple of ones and bang, four, it's a big over without a shot in anger. The initial call was two. I think he's going to get two more than two. He does. Good shot. Just going down leg as far as Steve Davis, uh, the umpire. He's hit that beautifully. That is a very, very good shot indeed. Effortless, really. And half a dozen. Nice flourish from Josef Johanna. You can get it away quite easily. That's nice and fine, the slower ball. And four ball off. So ten runs off the last two balls from Zondeki. That is a fine stroke. Sometimes Justin Kemp at this pace can be too predictable. Cries of catch it and gone. Straight to Sean Pollock. Clever fielding from Sean Pollock. He's the skipper, obviously. He chopped himself just a little. Well, Pollock resisted bringing fine leg up and pushing himself back. Just rolled the fingers over it, took the pace off it, and bang, straight to Sean on the edge of the circle. There you can see the circle. An easy catch. And at this point, a welcome wicket. So Yusuf Yohana goes for 42. Score now 199 for 4. There was a noise off the fire pad. Sean Pollock is uh, upset with that. Turned him 12 for 4. Well now, was there a little nibble down the leg side? I thought I saw Inzi starting to move towards the change room. Unless he was just overbalancing the other way. Yeah, it's always, uh, this is Inzi now, the change room is to the right of screen. This is him just uh, getting back in a position actually, rather than walking towards the change room, but uh, it's a bit of a dangerous one. An umpire, I think, could easily uh, interpret that as he's on his way back. Short boundary, take six. Just pulls it across, no big flourish. Fireworks now, as Mark Boucher appealing for a stumping. The foot is up. If you see the towing, Mahela Jayavadana is in trouble. You tell him he's out. Well, this is even better. Not grounded as yet, and the bills are off. So I think he's gone. It has been a very, very well played innings. And still a throw from Mark Boucher. 2-2-5 two, two, five for 5.
it's going to be another wicket in this over. Run out. Stutters in the middle. And the African... Oh dear, another run out uh, in Zaman Mulhak's been involved in. He was on strike, yeah. He set off immediately, and the captain has decided back to go. He's the last of the recognised batsmen. And in that situation, perfect to Abdul Razak. He's had a go, though. 225 for six. Well, the man who almost won the game in the first match for the Asian 11, Shai Rakta, promoted up the order. Well, this has gone out. There's a man underneath it. Oh, it could have been a great catch. Justin Kemp, back turn, running hard for it. Ball looked in the air. Edged and taken. Well, he has come back well. So about to probably looking to play that square and get Inzamam on strike. Not the finest of edges to Mark Boucher. Just third catch of the innings. Out to gone for six. Uh, Two thirty-five for seven. Well, it's Zahir Khan out there in the middle. He almost won the game for the Asia Eleven in the last game. This is neatly played. He's just drifting down the leg side. Let's tuck this away very neatly. This is cut away. He may have found the gap, and he has. Great shot. Well, that is going to be the gap. was always on, wasn't it? The mid-wicket boundary. That seems among the huts. One of his good areas. And he's picked it out to perfection. They're delighted. That's a big shot. Probably going down. Of his better length. Well, he has got other ideas. He's got this straight up the middle. And that's gone a long way. He's in the slot, the third of the wicket. And his intention to start this over was to push the ball up. And in the bomb was ready. Thoughts of a no ball on height, but not on this occasion. That ends the innings for Asia. A very good one indeed. 267 for seven. Not a good start, Afridi. Departing early, but then a two, three of the opening delivery. Turned away sweetly for four. Using the pace of Shah Bakhtar as the Pakistani straight on the leg stump. Nicely timed by Bacha to get underway. away through mid wicket he punches it with the bottom hand powerfully away to the onside fence a second boundary for Boucher it's 13 for none after two sliced away down to third man and it goes so quickly to the fence third man never had a chance well he wants a third slip and almost went all the way. My word, he's building up some speed here, Shah Bakhtar. Well, he's, he's heat up for sure, and so is Mark Thatcher. And the minute it was short, Thatcher was onto the hook. And he's having a go. Just the top edge. And it didn't go high, but it flew fast. Look at that. About a metre short of the boundary. There's some speed being worked up by Shah Bakhtar here. As you say, Pat, flat and low, didn't get any height on it, and it almost carried all the way, much to the displeasure of this man. Edged and gone! Simple catch, at first slip. Started to look good. He just tried to hit it too hard, I think his balance going backwards. Not going towards the ball, and maybe he was a little bit late on it. Nice catch though. So Mark Boucher departs for 16. Africa now 23 for one.
Certainly is the African card. The absence of Callas coming in in his uh, normal position of four does make the batting order just look a little less. Uh, it's cracked that away square. Four runs. But somebody can play such a stroke. Now the boundary, that's a very good shot indeed. Nice way to finish the over, it's a good one, 10 from it, 37 for one. When once again Zahir Khan was looking to push the ball up, he was looking to ball, looking the ball to swing away from the batsman at the last moment. It wasn't the case, Kulcha Dukanao was equal to the task, lent into it. Pull shot out and he's got it up very nicely. It is the shorter boundary and it's gone for four. That's a good shot. It's a nice shot. And some good footing by Zahir Khan. Shot back for the second, but certainly saving a couple of runs. Of well, these fast winners there because of Oh, it's a very good catch. Very good catch indeed. Mahela Jay will almost taken a beauty. He's taken it just about where second slip was moved from. Amy de Villiers at the non-striker's end just told Butter Dippena, I think, to hang around. It may not have carried, but I think it was fine. No drama as far as I'm concerned. And Dippena goes. Well, it's an unbelievable catch. Have a look. Very little time to react. Went very positively. Was looking to pass the ball with both hands. Since the ball was travelling so fast, it stuck in his right hand. And Bota de Pinar, after playing well, he perishes after 23. And African 11, 50 for two. Jacques Rudolph, the next man in for the African 11. Batting number four. This is uh, Jew. To the dismissal of Bota de Pinar. What an outstanding catch this was. Terrific stuff from uh, Mahada J. Wardner. We're trying with the name. What an effort. Jacques Rudolph is the next man in. Good average, good strike rate. That's a good shot, that'll be four. Beautifully handled. A little bit of room outside the off stump, and he bounced on it. He's a player you don't want to give any risk to Harry de Villiers. It's a fantastic square cut and drive of the ball. Well, oh, that's brilliant. That's over pitched, and that's put away emphatically. This is a gentle listener from Abdul Razak. Jacques Rudolf has obliged. his confidence the world of good he's now gone to seven on the back knee what a great finish i think he's been put down that's the thick outside edge we've got to see if it carried or not but it was pretty low sangakara is a little bemused he's indicating that it may have swung in the air after it hit the bat let's take a look Well, he may be right, it sort of tended to come into it, didn't get into his gloves, but the outside part of his thumb. This is a bad miss from Sangakara. It could have been a pretty uh, painful one as well. And on this occasion, no doubt about that. No, it doesn't get the Villiers, but it's Jacques Rudolf. Defensive the drive. Who was one or two? He missed one or two in this equation. He's only a little bit He's gone. He's only one and two. Well, there was a little bit of room outside the off stump. Later on the right, just ball curling into him. Just too close to the body to play that shot. Sangatara pulling off a good take there. So Davila is gone. For 10 and it's 71 for 3. Accumulate, uh, he likes to take his time, get himself in. 
Oh, you can't laugh at that average. 19 matches. Oh, God! That must be the best in international cricket in 19 games. I've never seen anything like 75. That can be good. Have you got a man who's the director? Going for the third empire. That can be touching good, but I believe he's walking. Ashford Prince is walking as we speak. Just about how quick he was. Yeah, he is. Yep, yeah, that's gone. That is gone. That is, this is brilliant work by Abdul Razak. Convince the size the third umpire. Well, not good, not good for Prince. Definitely not good for Africa. This is just what they didn't want, but that was good, quick work by Razak. So Prince gone for zero, and it's 72 for three. Justin Kent, he's at the crease. Also had a very, very good start his uh, international career. For the second start, he played some on the cricket a while back, and oh, there is another sharp chance. Joe Wooden has taken a superb catch the previous one on this occasion. Oh, it's all happening here for Asia. Well, they say it's not easy to chase under life, but this wicket is suddenly coming alive. A little extra bounce on this occasion as well. That would have been good. That would have been spectacular, in fact. And Jay Wardenay, normally he's taking these catches, but that didn't please Razak at all. Well, that's the inside edge now. That will be four. But a lot is happening now. Now, this is beautifully driven now. Ashish Nero has probably a very good length throughout this spell. We must occasion we'll be looking for something a little bit more. Well, I'm not too sure what this was, uh, but it uh, was well put away in the end by Abby de Villiers. 35 for 4. Been at the pad, but the result would be the desired one for Africa. It goes. And it should be close. And he's gone. Brilliant piece of work. Oh dear, another run out has cost Africa badly. Up. Only because he runs out, but they've lost. The moment has been in, maybe the videos. Oh, the pressure from the earlier spinner yet. Yeah. The always goes around in these sorts of dismissals. Well, I'm not sure that he, he should have run there. Well, we know he shouldn't have run, but the ball was hidden for quite a while behind them, the wicket keeper. And that goes 39 A.B. de Villiers, 118 for five now, Africa. So Steve Tickelo comes up, super sub on his Tickelo off his. Monday is on their key. So Steve Tickler comes to the pitch with a lot of work to do. Now he's got 100, got 14 50s, and he can play. And he's picked the gap quite beautifully now, Steve Tickler. That'll give his uh, confidence a good bit, a good uh, support there. That was the best of deliveries of just a, a long haul. It didn't come out well. And every now and again, the freely has that problem, but he holds the loose delivery. He put away so nicely. In the air, and just short of the man. Good effort. Come back for the second. This is into the breeze. It's a long part of the ground. Good effort in the end. Oh, fortune favouring Steve Tickler in Africa, yep. That's four. Another short delivery now. That shows the power of Justin Kemp. He's one of the most powerful hitters in world cricket. Well, to mention, he's still in the crease. 
Disappointed, but he may be out. That's the first. But those he hasn't run him out. Ah, there you go. They're looking for. Uh, we're going to get Justin Kemp. I think they realised it, uh, and then suddenly they think they better go the other end. Now this is going to be very tight. He is out there, so Justin Kemp is out, and then they weren't too sure about that, so they threw to the other end as well, just to make sure. But there was certainly a bit of. Uh, frenetic activity in the middle but Justin Kemp's the man who's going to depart and he is the big danger man of course as far as the uh, Asian side is concerned and uh, shake the head and away he goes that should be out there's two more men it might be a collision who's calling no one in the end I don't think or maybe both and grasped they've got a bit of action in Durban there's a lot happening here We've just completed describing the most amazing uh, runouts, and there you take this in the air a long time. Both could have got under it, but both didn't call for it. And eventually, it fell to the ground. And look at Murley. To fly back to the square, four runs. Bottom edge on that, I think. It's gone through Kumar Sengu Kara's glove, or not through his gloves, through him, I should say, and it has gone for four runs, a confirmation of that. Another boundary, a boundary off the second all the way over. Question is, can the African 11 turn this into another big over? Crack that one flat and out. No, it's not. It's gone through. It's burst straight through his hands. I thought he had that totally controlled. Four runs has been scored by uh, umpire Steve Davis. He probably didn't get it. He didn't have to move an inch. It was flat batted. It was coming at him straight on. He didn't see it. Right. He was away from it. He was probably a meter away from the ball. That is a huge hit. That is beautifully played. A smoke back for six runs. Mr. Ticola has come to the party. What a stage. What a position. He's playing a terrific knock. 40 or 39 now. This is a big hit. Brilliant shot. Reached the pitch of the delivery and straight over. Long on. Nine off the over so far. So up at the right. And a chip from Sean Pollock. Brilliant timing. Four runs. Big over. Well played by these two from Africa. 190 for six. Oh. 
flat again, this time. It has been taken. Win the show right out there this time. No problems with the lights. All the background. He's taken the catch. We're going to have a breathe of relief, I think, from the time early on. And they've got a very important work that Steve Ticano has gone. And no relief would be for Enda Seva because the last time he was going the wrong way. But not the wrong way this time. He had it covered all the time. Perfectly taken by Varinda Sehwag. So Tikolo's inning comes to an end. What an outstanding one there. 43 for him. It's 192 for 7. Nicky Bier, 112th game. He's playing 70 innings. Important stat there is the 200s. That tells anyone that Nicky Bier can play at this level. And he's got to work it first up. The right in the express has struck. Nicky Bier. High perimeter's game, but first delivery. Now take a look at this. A little extra bounce, slight movement. It just guided it into the hands of Joe Rodney. That was easy pickings for him. So Boye also departs. Just one to his name. 193 for eight. He's got an average close in here in 30 with a healthy strike rate. But it's really, really tough at this stage. away out into the deep and it's going to go away for four powerfully struck by streak to in the over up comes the 200 it's 202 for eight oh it's always missed it beautiful piece of bowling unlucky for Shad fired in short got the glove and it split Jay Wardner and Sangakara absolutely perfectly to go for four despite his despairing effort what a delivery from Shreya Bhattar. So well directed. Oh, beautifully bowled, and there it is. Now they're going to take the single for the overthrow. That was unnecessary. It's going for four. Oh, my word, that was silly. From Asia's fielders, Shai to Freedy, having a shy for no reason whatsoever. Pollock on strike. In the air, straight down the ground, and it's gone for, for a flat batted straight hit by Sean Pollock. He can be dangerous. Up in the air, this should be taken. Back pedaling. Oh, and dropped. Oh, my word. Pollock given a chance. Ashish Nier has put it down. And Africa pick up two more. The question to be asked, why place Ashish Nara in the circle? It was a good hit. Ashish Nara couldn't do anything. One bounce over the boundary line when he was fielding at mid-off. And then he was asked to field within the circle. If Mahela Jayawardena would have been there, easy pickings for him. Oh, he's got him! Perfectly bowled, and that's it, surely. Zahir, right on target. Again, your length. Pollock heaving down the ground. And it sends him on his way, and he also sent him on his way with a little bit of burgers that Sean Pollock's not too happy about. Well, in the last over, Sean Pollock hit him over the top, and that's his revenge. Rattling the stumps. Good innings from Sean Pollock comes to an end. 235 for 9 at Africa 11. Thomas Adore, the last man in, with an almost hopeless task. There's his record. And for number 11, it's not the worst, but uh, it's desperate times now. Now, streak. Carved away out to deep extra cover for four. Defiance from Heath Streak. Two overs remain, 240 for 9. Away, over cover, and it goes for four. Nobody moved. Huge hit to over, extra cover, it's gone, it's going taken. What a brilliant running catch by Jar Wardener. Oh, just feeds inside the road with deep extra cover. It was going to the fence, I swear, and Jar Wardener made hordes of ground to his left and made it look oh so easy. 
Asia have triumphed. The standard chartered Afro Asia Cup is 1-1, one, one, and this is how it ended. Not only Jai Bodhan, but Gol in this match. He has caught the ball.